What's going on, everybody? Welcome back to another Code Peterson tutorial. We're doing some more MIT App Inventor on this short series where we're learning different ways to make apps for our phones. And in this episode, we're going to learn how to make a drawing program. So let's go here to New Project, and we will call this Drawing Program. Here we are. So for this particular program, the first thing we're going to do is bring in a layouts component. We haven't done one of these in a little while. And the one we're looking for is horizontal arrangement. So we'll bring this in here. And the width is going to be to parent. And we will rename this one arrange colors. And we're going to bring in three buttons to this up here. There's a button, there's a button, and there's a button. So the first button, I'm going to actually rename and call this one red button. And then the next one, I'm going to rename and call this one green button. And then the third one is going to be blue button. All right, now if I go here to my red button, I'm going to change the text to red and I'm going to change the background to red and I'm going to change the text color for that to white. Usually I don't want to have black over red, it's kind of hard on the eyes and I'll have that font be bold and for the width, build a parent. Then we have text for button two and this is our green button. So in this one, we'll type in green and the background color is going to be green on here. You can actually even go into custom on here and choose darker colors if you want or choose whatever. So I might actually do that, go green, and then I'll have the text on this one be white and make sure that's bold. And for the width of this one, then it's going to be filled to parent also. And then we have clicking on here our third one, which is going to be blue. We'll go here, we'll find blue. And for the width, it's going to be filled to parent. And the text is going to say blue. And the color is going to be white. To make that bold also. So because this container is filled apparent and each of these is filled apparent, it's just automatically going to have them fill up equal space uh, within this. So it, it will be roughly like 33.3% of that area. Very nice. Okay, now we need something. We need an area to draw on in here. Drawing an animation. Here we go. Canvas right here. So I'm going to bring my canvas in my drawing and animation section. And for the height of this, I'm going to give this a height of 300 pixels. Uh, let's maybe try 250 pixels. There we go. And the width is going to be filled apparent just like the other. And the background color is going to be white. And then underneath that, you know, we can leave that as canvas because that's our only drawing canvas. And then maybe down here, we will bring another horizontal arrangement. And we're going to bring in two buttons into this one. Let's make sure this horizontal arrangement with is field apparent. There we go. Now we can bring in the other button easily. And the first button we'll rename and we'll have this one be clear button. And the second one we'll rename it exit button. All right. Now the first one here, this one we could put in here for text. Um, hold to clear, and the second one, 
hold to exit. And with these, just like we did above, we'll go to width and fill the parent. Fill the parent. So we're ready now to go to our blocks. Find our buttons here. So we'll say when red button click, when green button click, and when blue button click. Go to canvas. Set canvas paint color. Here we go. And then we'll bring one here and we'll bring one down here. So we have those three options. Then we can go over here to colors. And for the red one, we'll just bring this red over here. Back over to colors. For the green, we can select green. You can also click in here uh, to find any other color that you want in there. And then we'll go to colors and go blue. You can add more buttons with more colors if you'd like. All right, and then we have kind of two options that we can do with our canvas on here. One of them is what happens just when we touch the canvas. Okay, so if we go back here to our canvas, and we'll say when the canvas is touched, we'll bring this here. And let's just say every time we tap the canvas, we want to draw just a point. Okay, so we'll go back in here. And we want to draw a circle. All right, and then in here, we can say, where do we want this to be? I'll click here on the X and go to get X. And then I'm gonna go here to Y and get Y here and move this to Y. So get X and get Y. And then for the radius of this circle, we can just go up here to our math and get a number. And we'll click in here. And let's just say this is going to have a radius of three. You can change how wide you want the circle to be. And there it is. And the fill mean, says true. So that means it's going to draw the circle. And then it's going to fill it with whatever color we have activated on here. So that's when the canvas is touched. Then if we go back over here to canvas again, and this time we'll say when the canvas is dragged and we are going to find here, and we want to, in this case, draw a line. We're gonna go previous X and previous Y. And then we'll bring in current X to current Y. So as you're dragging your finger across the screen, it's connecting a line between the previous X, previous Y coordinates to your current X and current Y coordinates. All right, so there is the drawing components of it. Then we have our clear button here. So when clear button is long clicked, and we'll also bring in our exit button long clicked while we're here. Okay, and then if we go to canvas, we're going to go canvas clear for when the clear button is long clicked. And then our close application for when the exit button is long clicked. All right, let's go ahead and go back to our designer and we will build this Android app. And we'll bring up our phone here and use the QR reader and download and open and install and scan and install. Moment of truth. Let's open it up. All right. So here's our drawing program. So I probably could have made that 
canvas quite a bit taller. Uh, that's all right. When I first start, the default is actually black. So I clicked on there and then I drew that. Now if I hold clear, it removes it. But if I go to click on red, then it draws that. If I go to green, tap the screen, and then blue. And there that is. And then we'll hold clear to erase that. And then we'll hold to exit. And there it is, our first drawing app using MIT App Inventor. Let me know what you think in the comments. Let me know ideas you have for new apps or, or ways that you've modified this one. I'd love to hear it. And thanks for watching, and we'll catch you on another video down the road.